Good evening, friends. Uh, Lukey3262 here from theshavingcadre.com. I'm doing a evening shave today. The tools for the evening are going to be uh, a, I believe this is a 1950s Helga Strand MK31. Well, I know it's an MK31, but I think it's from the 1950s, uh, namely because of the uh, uh, plastic scales and the MK on the scales. Uh, also, the overall shape is a little bit more utilitarian. Um, finish isn't quite as glossy. It's, it's more matte. Uh, but, you know, it, it's, it's gonna be a great shaven razor. I actually pulled this out of the box. I've not set it on, I've never bevel set it or anything like that. I pulled it out of the box. It's lightly used. Um, I got it in a lot. And uh, I just took it to a finishing home. I took it to the, the, the Co calico cream that I've been, uh, I've been working on lately. And uh, it really keened up quick. I mean, fast. Uh, it was popping hairs, um, good half inch off to an inch. Um, so it should shave well tonight. We'll see, it may be too, too sharp. Um, the brush tonight is the Alpha T400. Um, one of the first releases of this, um, but not the Badger. I'm gonna take the Badger off. I think I have six, four, four or five. I think four or five uh, knots that I can swap in and out. Um, again, a little bit of personalization he did for me on the inside of my handle. Um, but um, I'm gonna shave with uh, the 50-50 um, horsehair knot tonight. Um, it's uh, not been used a ton since I got it, so it's still, I think still has a little bit of the, um, the, the horse smell to it. It's not terrible, but I mean, I've had this brush for a long time. It's probably only been used maybe three times, um, but it's time to get it out, um, see what it can do. Um, I don't have a ton of experience with horsehair knots. Um, I wish I did. Um, I just need to get it out more. I'm just so beholden to my, uh, my badgers. Um, software for tonight, uh, De Verglued Hand, uh, Extra Freeze Shaving Soap, fantastic soap, one of my, uh, my top tens, it will never leave my, uh, my den, awesome Fougere-ish type scent, right in that same area, to go with it's going to be some Irish Mousse, um, and, uh, the balm this evening is going to be, uh, um, the Irish Green Tweed um, by uh, Lisa's. Lisa's. So, let's go ahead and get the shave started. And I just started with my damp brush. I uh, didn't soak the soap. Uh, it's probably been a few months since it's been used, unfortunately. Back to the rock pile today. Um, nothing fancy, just got some work in. Um, ended up taking a little, taking off work a little bit early so I could run and grab my son. Then his mom really needed to work late. She's an accountant. It's almost April 15th. So I ended up taking our son an hour to St. Louis City to uh, Ikea, <laughs> and those that have talked to me uh, know that I, I love Ikea, not really, uh, but went to Ikea to pick up a few things for Irina because I know she really wanted them, and so got those, came back, uh, had dinner, and then we hung a few pictures and trying to get all prepped up and ready for Easter, family Easter at the house this weekend. And we're still in the process of getting the house finished up. Um, I don't really think it's gonna be finished for a long time, but it'll be enough for guests. Who cares? I mean, it'll be as good as it's gonna be.
I think I'm working with about 36 hours worth of growth tonight, somewhere around that. Don't have a whole lot of experience with these horse knots. Um, this one in particular, it's a little scritchy, but I think my understanding is that they will fray a little, little bit at the tips, just like a boar knot, and become a bit softer. Now this one's not, it's not like it's uh, rough or anything. It's not like a brand new bore or anything. Um, but it's got a little scritch to it, which is okay. Um, it is a little bit more floppy than I'm really used to. Kind of need to do more of a painting style application. And this is kind of where I was at with um, wanting to replace these knots that I have in the T400. Um, namely, I mean, they were just, when the brush came out, I don't even know how many years ago it was now. It might have been three or four years ago, maybe more. Um, I had the prototype first, and it was amazing. It had a fantastic knot in it, rave reviews. And then I got this one, which I'm not complaining about the, the handle at all. The handle's amazing. Uh, but I, I just think that uh, we got an off batch of uh, um, knots, and I, I just wasn't happy with them really. And I've been shaving with them here and there, but this set that I receive with the four or five furls just has not been used as much as I thought I would. I've thought about selling it several times, but I think I just need to replace it with some nice AP shave knots and um, maybe some 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 others maybe some uh, Murphy and McNeil knots and on Murphy and McNeil I bought a a really nice um, horse knot for a friend of mine to helping his wife out for Christmas building a brush through Eric Sorrentino, um, and that turned out amazingly. But um, anyway, so he raves about how great that brush is. So I'm thinking I need to maybe see if that maker or seller is still producing. Doing okay. Still a little bit from Barber Dave. He uh, he likes to clean up his burns. A little rag. I'm not near as fancy as he is with it though. He's much better at uh, making it look. Uh, uh, professional. All right. Even the scales are tight. What a testament to Swedish steel. There's no telling how long it's been since this thing, since this thing was honed. And all I did was do a touch up until it started sticking. And it's like butter.
for those of you that know me, know that I really, really, really do like Swedish razors. Much like anybody that's been shaving with a straight for very long does. Just like Major Rich today, he professed his love for uh, one of his Swedish ladies um, just this morning. Now the MK31 is the little brother to the MK32. The MK31 being a 5 8 32 being a 6 8 and then you've got the MK30, which is a 4 8 And then only a select few have an MK33, which is a 7 8 uh, plus. And um, I think, I know Barbara Dave has one. Uh, I don't really know anybody else that has one. Now to add to that, uh, Halgestrand had a ton of other offerings, uh, whether they're quarter hollows, half hollows, um, but most of them were full hollows. Um, and in my experience, there's really not anyone that's bad. And I think um, the MK30 that I have, the three MK31s, the five MK32s, the, the MK4s, the 24, all of them are wonderful, wonderful razors. I wouldn't hang on to them like they were gold if they weren't. So I highly encourage you, if you're collecting or want to uh, find a razor that's just fantastic and will last you a very long time, check out Halgestrand. They will hold their edge like crazy. Start getting a little thin on the lather. I don't know if it's uh, my lathering skills tonight or, or the uh, strange brush that I'm not used to.
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I went ahead and overwatered it. I'll have to hit the hit the uh, the soap again before my next pass. Got uh, lather running down the blade and onto my fingers. Ran dry. I think I'll go ahead and get a little bit more water and relather. Never had that problem with a badger brush. That could be me. I'd say this comes down to me not uh, lathering the soap for a couple of months, dried out a little bit, and then my inexperience with horse knots. Really glad that I went back and gave the co the Calico Cream Co hone another try. Um, last year when I picked it up, I was really getting spotty results with it. I, I wasn't wasn't just I just wasn't pulling the edges that that it was hyped, that it was supposed to be getting. Though I will say the owner definitely flattened the razor. It was very well flattened. Um, uh, I think that it just had with it a uh, small amount of, I don't know, um, indeterminate grit on the surface that I just seemed to have to work through. Um, it was producing lackluster edges, similar to an 8K, and I just, I mean, I wasn't really into it, so I wasn't reaching for it at all. Um, I thought maybe I just got a lower tier stone. And then I, um, I spent a little time 
relapping. Again, I, I, I wouldn't even say it's the fault of the, the stone producer. You should always lap your stones when you get them. And I think I just lightly lapped this one and didn't really um, go in depth with it. I, did, I didn't, you know, chase it very far. I just kind of was like, okay, it's flat. Okay, I'm good. But once I encountered the lackluster performance, I probably should have lapped it again and uh, taken quite a bit more off. I think the stone itself is at the very least an inch thick. And it, um, I think I took off somewhere around an eighth of an inch. This last lapping, maybe not quite that much, uh, maybe a sixteenth. And the last three shaves I think I've had are with edges that are either touched up on it or directly from it. And um, they've been better, everyone's been better than the last. Really is amazing that all I did was touch this thing up. And maybe five minutes. Might have been five minutes.
Well, I think that just about does it. See over there? Now, don't let the performance of the brush detract from the performance of the soap. Um, Differ Glued Hand is a fantastic soap. Um, I just uh, fudged it, uh, lathering it this, this evening, especially with this, uh, this brush. Not to say that it's a terrible brush, but um, obviously it's user error, so. cucumber. Not too much on the docket for tomorrow, just get some work done. Prepare for the Holy Week. We've got, my son will be out of school. Um, likely um, he will be uh, home with us. Uh, he may go spend some time with some friends. Um, but likely he'll be at home with us the whole time. Looking forward especially to taking him to Good Friday services, Holy Thursday. moose. can't believe they stopped making the soap. It's an absolutely fantastic scent. I can't wait till uh, CBL does a dupe of it again. Uh, fantastic stuff. All right, uh, and then we're going to finish up with the Lisa's natural uh, Irish green tweed. Um, I will say you only really need one little pump and actually maybe half a pump is probably best on that. Um, all kind of follow within the same general scent profile. All right, guys, I guess that does it for the shave. Um, please follow up with my friends uh, on the Condre. Um, long Haul Tanker, Handle Barber Dave, Rick Shaves, uh, Spider Shaves, uh, Scuttle Soap, uh, Bill M. The names go on of all the guys that are producing um, videos. And there's older videos out there from Dangerous Don um, and uh, uh, several other members that, that are floating around on the YouTubes. Uh, but check us out on the shavingcadre.com. Uh, great group of dudes getting together, chatting, having a good time. Uh, but uh, that's it for my shave tonight. Uh, I guess I'll uh, shave with you guys later. See ya.